So, here's the thing. Netflix just released the third season of one of its most anticipated original series. And yes, you guessed that right, Umbrella Academy. Umbrella Academy had proven twice before that they deserve a priority spot in the platform's line of most watched series, and this season did not disappoint at all. All that weight was worth it after all. You know what they say, double the cast, double the fun, and Umbrella Academy stayed true to that, introducing a new set of characters with entirely different superpowers as they call themselves the Sparrow Academy, added by the adult version of Harlan. The kid whom Vanya saved in Season 2, Umbrella Academy Season 3, is a whole new chaotic universe. In fact, the story is actually set in a whole new universe, having the original timeline altered after the dysfunctional Hargreaves family. Time traveled from 1963 back to 2019, so if you have finished the series until the season finale, then you might be wondering this too. What in the world happened? What was that ending? Hargreaves reset the universe, and the whole Umbrella Squad has reverted back to normal. I mean, true, normal people. So, what was the meaning of all that, and how does that build up for a fourth season? If you haven't watched the whole season yet, then watch at your own cost, because today's video will spill a lot of spoilers. So, are you ready? But before any of that, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and you smash that notification bell for more updates on this. Now, let's jump in. The Umbrella Academy's third season on Netflix is brimming with mayhem. Luther and Klaus die and eat pineapple pizza in the afterlife, while a kugel blitz engulfs all of time and space. And even that isn't the worst of it. The season's most important issues will be addressed when we delve further into that chaotic climax, starting with what happened to Luther and Klaus. Well, let's just say that both fell victim to bad parenting. In the fifth and final episode, Seven Bells, Sir Reginald uses his power move to unite the family by killing someone. Reg apologizes to Luther for how his alternate timeline version treated him when they speak in the White Buffalo Suite at the end of the episode. Reg gives Luther an uncharacteristic hug while stabbing Luther in the stomach with his alien appendage and hurting him across the chest to make the demise appear to have been caused by the Guardian's curved blade. Shortly after, the remaining Umbrella and Sparrow members discover Luther's body, which has the precise impact Reg was hoping for. The siblings manage to escape down the passage in the White Buffalo Suite, while the Kugel Blitz is practically on top of them since they think the Guardian killed Luther. The last person to attempt to dive down the passage is Klaus, but Reggie stops him, pushing him outside the tunnel. Klaus throws himself in the air and impales himself on the White Buffalo's horns just as he is going to get the blizzard. What, or more accurately who, are the Seven Bells? Reginald tells his children about the tale of the Seven Bells, when he was a young lad, as he explained to them in the prior episode, it seems like the universe will be returned to its original state if the bells are rung. In essence, the bells are a safety measure the universe's creator left in case the cosmos need to be reset. Reggie explains to the group that the symbol represented by the seven bells is the sigil. Reggie explains to the gang that they will be one step closer to resetting the universe if they discover the sigil symbol. Enter the Guardian, or or more accurately, the Guardians. They are actually multiple Guardians, as each of the three sets of siblings battle a different one. These Guardians are revealed to be growing samurais, wearing nearly indestructible armor and possessing strange bugs crawling from their bodies. They all succeed in eliminating their Guardians, while just barely escaping with their lives. Allison admits to Victor that she made a deal with her father before Victor and Leela use their sonic blast to defeat their guardian. She begs Victor to believe her and explains that she made the agreement thinking it would make everything okay once more for everyone. After a deadly battle with the last remaining guardians, Five shouts that the stars on the lobby floor are the symbol. All of them are instructed to stand on a star by Reginald. The seven remaining umbrellas and the sparrows themselves are the bells. So they are actually seven stars, except for Allison, who Reginald instruct to wait behind. They all step onto the star. Beam of light connect the seven members as he falls, and the hotel starts to fall apart. Allison, who was undoubtedly unaware of this aspect to the plot, is horrified when Reginald reveals that the Hotel Oblivion 
Guardian was really a sham, as energy surges painfully sipping the life out of the five umbrellas and two sparrows. It is actually a device that the person who created the universe developed and trapped in a different dimension. The only things that will power the device are the particles inside the umbrellas and sparrows, and likely any one of the superpowered children born on October 1st, 1989, Reginald is controlling the machine when Allison uses the Guardian sickle to slash him, freeing the other seven members from the energy bonds. She moves cautiously towards the device, which has a glowing red button. She presses it despite their pleas for her not to. What happens to the Umbrella Academy? After pressing the red button, Allison is able to restart the world, but the Umbrellas and the Sparrows are in for a rude awakening in their new timeline. Five people enter the Obsidian Memorial Park from the elevator, Victor, Ben, Diego, and Leela. To everyone's surprise, it appears that the universe has been repaired, and Luther, who entered the elevator a short while later, has also been given a new life. Luther is no longer an ape-slash-human hybrid, so something is wrong. Five tries to blink, but is unable to do so, at which point they discover they have been miraculously revived without their powers. Additionally, Sloane has inexplicably vanished. Raising many issues that hopefully will be resolved in a future season. Sloan is missing. Why do the siblings lack their special abilities? Does Leela still have a baby? Moving on to Allison, it turns out that despite Reggie's many flaws, chief among them being an awful father in every timeline, he keeps his word. This time, as Allison walks inside Claire's bedroom, Claire is actually there. As she sobs, Allison envelops her in an embrace. Then, unexpectedly, her late 2010 husband, Ray Chestnut, who was married to her in 1963, welcomes her home. In some strange way, the two of them now seem to reside in Allison's Los Angeles home as one big content family. How Allison manages to have both her husband from 1963 and her current daughter in the same timeline is a complete mystery, and it's likely that Allison doesn't even realize how Reginald made it possible. What is certain is that Allison might have gotten her family back, but probably at a great cost. So, what exactly was Reginald's plan? As the camera moves away from Obsidian Memorial Park, we can see that Hargreaves owns structures and establishments all over the city. Reginald is perched in the tallest skyscraper, surveying the city. He is approached by a blonde woman with curly hair who takes his hand. Abigail Hargreaves is the woman whom Reg assigned Luther to watch over on the moon since she is the most precious thing in the cosmos. At the beginning of episode 9, Luther is shown in a flashback scene running through a force field on the moon. What he doesn't know is that Abigail is trapped in a cryogenic container on the other side of the force field, a key character from Reginald's history. Abigail was briefly presented in season 1 in a flashback as Reginald's adored wife who was now long deceased. Reggie said that the job of his children was to reset the universe, but it now seems that his original intent, the very reason he adopted and diligently trained precisely seven children with superpowers, seven bells, was to bring Abigail back along with the universe's restoration. So, is that it? New timeline, new powers, new everything? Is this how the series ends? Well, we don't really know just yet. We're definitely crossing our fingers for a possible fourth season, but Netflix hasn't announced plans for it just yet. With a cliffhanger like that and a big fandom who is ready for anything, hopefully they'll announce some good news about it soon. That's all for today. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel.